So I've been following this girl recently. Her channel is Chelsea Palmer, and she has a book club on Facebook called the Page Turners, I think. And um, shortly after I started watching her, she had announced that their March book, is, like in one of the first videos that I watched of hers, she mentioned that her March book was The Winner's Curse, and that is on my list of books to read. So I figured for my uh, first real video, I would make um, like a reading vlog of me doing that, like of reading that book for her book club. Um, I haven't really watched a ton of her videos yet, but she has, she has these videos where she has her goats pick her TBR and I mean, obviously subscribe right there. So yeah, um, I don't have the physical book. I got it from the library, the ebook from the library. Um, so I'm about to just read it on my phone on lunch at work and I'm sitting here in my car like, please coworkers, don't see me. Like <laughs> talking to my phone. It's weird. Um, but yeah, so that is my start of this reading vlog. All right, I will see you when I have an update. So it's time to head home from work and I got the audiobook from the library so I'm going to listen to it on the way home. On my lunch I read the first chapter and so far I'm liking it I guess. I mean the first chapter didn't really cover much but apparently we're following Kestrel who is a rich girl and this world has slaves and she bought one. So there's a good start. So yeah, I'm going to listen to the audiobook on the way home, and maybe there'll be a check-in later, and maybe I'll check in tomorrow. I don't have to work tomorrow, so I'll probably do the bulk of my reading tomorrow. I just finished today's reading, which was chapters 1 through 11 of The Winner's Curse, so I will check back in tomorrow. And I'm loving it so far. Happy Tuesday. Don't mind my look. I just got finished working out. I'm going to go shower. Um, and that is relevant. <laughs> I have, um, I'm ready to do my reading of The Winner's Curse for the day. We're reading up to page 166, I believe. Um, and like I said yesterday, I do have the audiobook from the library as well as the ebook. So um, I'm going to go hop in the shower. I'm going to listen to the audiobook. And then when I get out, I'm going to switch from the audiobook to the ebook and finish off the reading. And then I will check in and let you know what I think. So I just finished today's reading of The Winner's Curse. It was up to page 166. And I don't want to stop. And I know it's a book club, so there's no like hard and fast rules. So I might just keep going. Um, we stopped in the middle of like an action scene. So I kind of want to just keep reading and see exactly where it goes. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm actually really enjoying it so far. I want to find out more about Aaron and like his past because that's like probably the thing I find the most interesting right now. And like the story arc that I want to find out the most about. Um, Kestrel so we spend a lot of time in her head, I feel like, but I still don't know how I feel about her. She seems like she's very headstrong, but at the same time, she doesn't like fighting. But then she, I don't, like, I don't really know how I feel about her. Um, and I honestly don't really know where the story is going, but I am very interested to find out. And like I said, Aaron's probably the character I'm most interested in learning more about, so... Yeah, I might just keep going. <laughs> it's only, um, like, it's, I think it's 1245 right now. And I'm off today, so I don't have, like, anything really planned to do. Um, like, I want to do some cleaning and play some video games and stuff. But I don't really have much planned. So, yeah, I might just keep reading. And finish early because it's a book club and it's for fun and I can do whatever I want right isn't that how this works I don't know but 
yeah, that is my check-in after finishing the reading for day two. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. So I have my winner's curse here, and I listened to the audiobook on my way to work. I got to, I believe, the end of chapter 25, and ooh, drama. <laughs> um, yeah, it's kind of, uh, the plot's kind of thickening a little bit, but I'm still finding, so I don't know if I mentioned it here or if I was talking to my husband about it or whatever. Um, um, so a lot of this book is character driven and the plot is just kind of starting to get moving and I'm already like more than halfway through the book. And I feel like, so I'm enjoying it. It's moving quickly, but you can definitely tell that it's YA, kind of like made for a younger audience, because there's like absolutely no world building. Like I couldn't tell you the first thing about this world. Um, and I mean, really, I can't even tell you much about the characters, because they're fairly one dimensional. And I know yesterday I was saying like, Oh, I'm interested to find out more about Aaron's story, like his past, whatever. But really, we're just kind of moving the plot forward. We're not finding out anything about these characters. So, I mean, that's good because the book is going quickly. But it's bad because I want to know more and I'm not learning anything. But, yeah. Um, I'm going to read now. I'm on my break at work. And... Yeah, we'll see uh, how this drama plays out because, ooh, I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't think it'll be any problem finishing up the reading for today, even though I have to work because, um, you know, my commute's kind of long, so the audiobook got me already halfway through the reading for today. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to read the ebook now and then maybe I'll check in later. Okay, back again with my final check in for today. I just finished day three's reading. Okay, so earlier I said that I was loving the drama and I thought I was at the end of chapter 25. I was actually halfway through chapter 26, which is the drama that I was talking about. But from there it just, oh, it went crazy. And now, like, I am so sucked in. I didn't want to stop, but my lunch break at work is over, so I had to. Um, but oh, the story is getting so good and so action-packed and I just can't wait to see how this book ends and um through the first half I was kind of thinking oh I don't know if I would continue with this story now I'm like depending on how this ends I might want to just pick the next one up right away because right now it is just so good I'm loving it so much but yeah that's it for today and I will see you tomorrow with uh the next reading <laughs> bye so I just finished reading The Winner's Curse. It is like just past 9 a.m. on Thursday. Good morning. Happy Thursday. And I don't have time to really articulate my thoughts because I'm actually running late for work. I was supposed to leave like five minutes ago, <laughs> but I just wanted to finish it. Um, but I will say based on how it ended, I do want to continue. Uh if only because I'm a sucker for a complicated love story. Um, but yeah, like, like I said before, it was, there was no world building. The characters were fairly one dimensional. Like it was fine. Um, like I said, I just finished it, so I don't really want to rate it right now. I'll probably do a final check in later after I've kind of thought about it a little bit. Um, if I had to say right this second, I would probably give it a four star just for sheer enjoyment value. Um, but it's probably hovering more around a three, I would say. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll probably check in later on my break from work. Um, just to give you some final, final, final thoughts after I've had time to digest the story a little bit. But yeah, for now I need to leave. I am late for work and I will see you later. All right. Welcome back to my car. Uh, final thoughts on The Winner's Curse. I'm going to give it three stars. I actually, I'm not going to say I'm going to give it. I already gave it three stars. I wrote my review on Goodreads. The story 
is a four star for me just for sheer like enjoyment value like I had a good time while I was reading it but like the more I think about it the more I'm like okay yeah I enjoyed the story while I was reading it but as soon as I closed the book like I don't care the characters are so one-dimensional I don't care about them like the the <sighs> The world building was non-existent. I think I already said that at some point. So, I mean, even though I enjoyed it while I was reading it, overall it's just kind of okay. So I'm going to give it three stars. Um, four stars for enjoyment, three stars overall because of the one-dimensional characters and lack of world building, which is common in YA fantasy, so I can't really hold it against the book. But, you know, that being said, I did... Um, borrow the ebook on overdrive so i am going to continue it um maybe not like right now because i have a goal to get my currently reading list down to four books and right now it's at five so i don't want to add another one so i have to read two books by the end of like finish two books by the end of the month um but maybe in april i'll pick it up so yeah that's it for this reading vlog and i will see you in the next one <laughs> Bye.